Okay, so last year we looked at y equals x to the 1, lines. This year we're going to learn y equals x to the 2, y equals x squared. So let's graph it with a table of values. So x, y, use your graph here better than I did. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, choosing x values. Rewriting the equation down below. Carefully substituting the first x value in the table, negative 2 in for x. And negative 2 all squared is negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4. Put that value in the table. Draw a graph. Put that point on the graph. Negative 2, 4. Label the point negative 2, 4. Rewrite the equation. y equals x squared. Carefully substitute the next value. y equals ne x equals negative 1 in the table. In for x. y equals negative 1 all squared. y equals negative 1 all squared is 1. Put it in the table. Put the point on negative 1, 1, label the point, negative 1, 1. Now, this substitution must be easier. Well, why don't we just think about it? So what if we just take the x and put it in? So when x is 0, 0 squared is 0. When x is 1, 1 squared is 1. Forgot to put the point on. 0, 0, 1, 1. Back to the table on the left. When x is 2, putting 2 into the equation. 2 squared is 4, 4, get that point, 2, 4, label the point, 2, 4. Now this is where we're going to draw the shape. Look at the notes, it's a U shape. Now we're going to draw it perfectly, we're going to draw it with many little tiny steps. So arrow tips, tick, 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 arrow tip. It's going to be way easier that way. Now notice it's symmetrical on both sides of this red line. And notice that the pattern away from the bottom number, 0, 0, what we call the vertex, the top or the bottom of any U-shaped parabola, the pattern away from the vertex is table of values in your head. 1 squared is 1, up 1. 2 squared is 4, up 4. Negative 1 squared is negative 1, up 1. Negative 2 squared is 4, up 4. Memorize that pattern. Don't memorize some one, one, three, one thing. Use your head. Logic. Do a table of values in your head. Because then, in the future, let's say, for example, excuse me, I'm going to draw that in black. If we have the pattern y equals x squared, and we do a table of values in our head, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. We're going to be doing this so often that you want to memorize this shape. We're going to change the shape, but what we're also going to do is move it around. So let's say... 0, 0 is over here. Don't draw this. Well, it's the same shape. Vertex. Over 1. 1 squared is 1. Back to the vertex. Over 2. 2 squared is 4. Read the English instructions in the notes. So, I'm going to put the graph back to where it was. Above. And the point at the bottom is 0, 0. And let's talk about a domain and a range. So D colon from last year, domain. Well, what is X? X, E, R. And they're not going to make you write crazy, <laughs> difficult uh, ranges, domains. Just a simple little whatever. Now, the range, well, first of all, all the polynomials are X, E, R. X squared, X, X cubed, etc. So it's always going to be XCR until we get to a word problem. Now the range, well, look at the graph. All the Y values are greater than 0. So Y needs to be greater than or equal to 0 because we have a point at the bottom. And then one more thing, this vertical red line that we drew above is called the axis of symmetry, AOS. And the equation is just X equals the X value of the vertex. So we have parabolas and their shapes and how to graph them with a table of values or learning the patterns. The bottom or the top of the parabola is called the vertex. We can answer the domain and the range. 
and we can answer what the axis of symmetry is. The, at the vertical line x equal whatever the x value of the vertex is that cuts it in half or it's symmetrical on both sides. So now let's take a look at moving graphs or moving this graph around. So let's take a look at y equals x squared plus 1. Well, sure, we could make a table of values and pick some x values and y, but why don't we learn another way? So let's take the graph of x squared in red, y equals x squared, and let's do a table of values in our head. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, negative 2 squared is 4. Draw a parabola. Now, this plus 1, big blue off to the left, what does that do? Well, it just takes the parabola and moves it up one. So we take each of these points and go straight up one and put a new point at all of the locations directly above and all of the points just went up one. Up one. The English instructions off to the right, notice. The graph of y equals x squared plus 1 is the graph of x squared shifted up 1. C is the y-intercept. C is only the vertex if there is no b value. So it's not always just going to be up, one, up something, up or down. We're going to go left and right as well. That number is not always the y-intercept. But if b is 0, it is turns out to be the vertex as well. So down below you can see a summary of x squared in green, x squared plus 2 shifted up 2, x squared minus 4, green shifted down 4 in red, and that is shifting up. So now let's take a look at the next page of notes, and let's go for y equals x minus 2 all squared. So let's make a table of values, x, y. Now, we don't know what happens with these brackets because we learned about plus 1 last year, so up 1, down 1, whatever. But now it's in brackets, so it's more confusing. So let's do the table values. So let's take the equation, y equals x minus 2 all squared, and let's substitute the first value in. y equals negative 2 minus 2 all squared. Taking the first value on the table and substituting in for x. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. All squared is 16. Now that value is too big. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have negative 0 in the table. It's positive 0, negative 0. They're neither. Whatever. Circle my answer. Excuse me. So let's figure out another value. Let's not even bother doing negative 1. 16 was way too high. Let's do 0. So y equals substitute 0 in for x into the equation. I should have wrote it down. I'm going to above. y equals x minus 2, all squared. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Squared is 4. y equals 4. Put that in the table. But now remember, we didn't have to do the substitution in the formula. We could have just do it in our heads. Let's do it in our heads. 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Squared is positive 1. Putting the next value in, 2. 2 minus 0, 2 minus 2 is 0. Squared is 0. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, let's graph these. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to always graph x squared no matter what. y equals x squared. Graph it with the table of values in my head. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, negative 2 squared is 4. Draw the parabola. Okay, now that I just draw these new points in black from the table. 0, 4, 1, 1, it's an overlapping point, I'm going to overlap it, 2, 0, oh, I need more table, oh, I got some stuff in the way, who cares, extend your table down, pick another x value, like 3, and substitute it into the equation above, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, 3, 1, put the other point, oh, look at this, we got our parabola, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. Just put the other point without even doing the table value. Draw in your parabola. Now what's happened to x squared? Write the equation near it. y equals x minus 2 all squared. The equation that we started with. So what's happened? Well, it's gone to the right. 
2. Whoops, I'm missing my T, right? 2. So, in the last section, we learned that if we have like a plus 1 or a plus or minus anything, we go up or down that number. And if it's inside the brackets, we don't do exactly what it says because negative 2 would mean that way. We do the opposite and go right to. So now I'm going to read an English sentence. Notice the graph of y equals x minus p, it should say x minus 2 squared, is the graph of y equals x squared shifted right to. Notice we shift the graph opposite of the general form p, x minus p, all squared. The opposite. Okay, so we've seen up and down, obviously right, we could have seen left. We're now going to flip it over. So, let's take a look at the next page in the notes, y equals negative x squared. Print off the notes or open up your computer or your phone to the notes and watch the video on a different device or whatever. Y equals negative x squared. Should we make a table? No. Let's draw a graph. Let's start by graphing y equals x squared always. Y equals x squared, doing a table of values in our head. Zero squared is zero. One squared is one. Two squared is four. Negative one squared is one. Negative two squared is four. Draw a parabola. Then, what happens if it's negative? Well, all these points flip over. So the bottom, what we call the vertex, flips over, but nothing happens. This one flips over and comes down here with an equal distance away from the x-axis that it was. This one comes here, symmetrical to the other one. This one is a distance of 4, so it's got to be a distance of 4. And it comes down here. And this one also comes down here. We can draw the parabola opening downwards, writing y equals negative x squared y equals x squared, y equals negative x squared, y equals x squared, y equals x squared plus something, minus something, in brackets, left and right, etc. So, notice they've all been the pattern. 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. Now we're going to look at different shapes. So, we're going to take the shape like this and make it steeper, not skinnier and flatter not fatter we want to be nice don't we 